Well, here we are. It's been two weeks, and it's time to break it out of the form to see what we got. I waited an extra week only because it was too hot to work on this in my shop. Here was something unexpected. Mold growing on top of the anchor bolt jig. Apparently, MDF is yummy for mold. I've sprayed it to kill the mold, but I guess next time I do a project like this, I will spray and seal all the surfaces. Now let's get to breaking this thing up. I started with my cordless screwdriver, but that was going way too slow, so I went and got the impact driver. Not so concerned with the excess torque because can't really strip out a screw when being removed. First to come off are the two sides. Not much swing room underneath there with a small hammer, but as soon as I saw a gap in the joint, I started prying with a screwdriver. Still having trouble, so upgraded to a larger hammer and it popped loose. Rotating it just a bit so we can all see it at the same time, and not too shabby. At this point of the process, I was unsure of how hard those pin plugs were going to come out. I clamped a board to the face of the concrete to provide support while I attempt to drive it out since I don't know how much force will be needed. This should prevent the concrete from chipping if it has bonded to the pin. I'm using one of the leg mounting carriage bolts as a pin punch. I was very surprised when it popped out with very little effort, but then the carriage bolt was stuck in the form. We'll have to find a better tool for a pin punch. I found a long quarter inch bolt that will not get stuck in the 5 16th hole. Very light taps with a hammer and it slid right out. Just curious. With everything you've seen so far, how many are thinking about buying a 3D printer? As I was getting ready to remove the other side, it occurred to me that the back section was being held in place by two dowel pins and unsure what would happen when it becomes disconnected. I decided to throw bar clamps on there for safety. Now looking at it and contemplating how I'm going to remove the screws holding the back section that are only accessible from the bottom. Sliding it over exposed the screws so that question was answered. At this time I have no idea if the upper form will survive in one piece when it's removed. I found that most of the trouble removing the walls was due to the caulking compound. So far everything is going as planned which is very unusual the first time something is built. But there was a lot of planning that went into this project. Now it is time to see if I'm going to run into any trouble with the back section. I pushed it back over the bench so that it would not fall to the ground when it breaks free. I need to be gentle because this is new concrete and will not be fully cured for another three weeks. A lot of tapping and a bit of prying and it finally broke free. Then one more tap on the other side and then prying up to clear the dowel pins and it's off. Now starting on the front wall and knucklehead, trying to drive it down and then realize there are two dowel pins that's preventing that from happening. I'm thinking that if I can get the cove out, I will have a free edge to hammer on. Now I'm thinking the dowel pins indexing the upper form should have been screws and that would make breaking the form much easier. I really want to save that upper form because I might have to pour a new countertop, but I'm thinking that is not going to be possible.
wait, I just had an epiphany. Be right back. The anchor bolt jig is a solid surface that I can pry against, so I went out and got my pry bar, giving me some more leverage, and... No! Crap. The alignment brace popped off, so I will have to build a new upper form if needed. No more being careful, so the upper form is just going to have to come off in pieces. When I do something like this again, the inner form will have to be more than one piece and screwed together. Now I have another idea. Be right back. There is a method I know of for removing automotive rear axle bearing retaining rings that involve drilling a hole through the ring and then splitting it with a chisel. So, I'm going to drill down through the wall and attempt to split the board with a chisel. But then I decided I was not going to use a wood chisel anywhere close to the concrete. So, out comes the concrete vibrator, but this time using it as intended. Those blades are cheap compared to the wood chisel. One for the scrap bin. Now working my way around, drilling holes and cutting out the boards. Still arguing with it, trying to get the boards out, and another idea. Drilling a hole and using a bolt as a lever worked great. If I had thought of that before, I could have got this taken care of in one half the time. Now that the upper form has been demolished, time for the next challenge, pulling up the anchor bolt jig. First, removing all the nuts from the anchor bolts because the bolts are the anchor studs and are going to stay there. My plan was to use a slide hammer on the four screws in the middle to pull it up, but first, I try a pry bar. You can see how flexible the MDF is after being in a very humid environment for two weeks. Likely would have been easier if I sealed the whole thing. Slowly and gently working around the perimeter with the pry bar, I'm able to get it up over the anchor bolts and free it from the form. So far it has been very difficult, but making slow progress. Next is the faucet plug that needs to be pulled out. First, I have to find and remove the screw holding it down. It is buried under a thin layer of concrete.
I drove a larger screw into the hole of the plug and then tried pulling with pliers, just knowing it was not going to work, and... Pop! Woohoo! Out it came. It is about time something was easy. And here you can see I have my name cast right into the back. And now for the last challenge. I'm thinking of lifting it up onto the backside and hitting the sink plug with a hammer. But first, need to clean off some of the debris on the plug. Now that it's up on its back, I need a bigger hammer. Be right back. Now with the bigger hammer, a few light taps and then check to see if there's any separation. Not yet. A few harder taps and it has separated. Now here is the suspense. Never done this before. What's it going to look like? I adjusted the camera for a better reveal. Added some better lighting, and... Wow, not bad for a first-time build. Trying to move the form base away, and I think it's heavier than the countertop. It did turn out to be more porous than I expected, but I attribute that to the first layer being too stiff. And a close-up around the edge, we can see the drip edge came out very well. Flipped over and inspecting the other side, I found some more serious issues. The surface around the sink is too rough and I will have to do some grinding. The surface at the end is also too rough where some of the concrete extruded out from under the form. This surface is where the legs will sit so must be flat. Moving over to the other side, in this corner that big chunk is going to have to be removed. Setting the plug in place I made to simulate the legs makes it easy to see the interference. I'm not going to film the cutting and grinding to make everything fit. Next up will be the assembly. Be sure to subscribe and be notified when new content is uploaded.